Hello everyone and welcome to the judging of the UHB contest which has recently happened within the Hermitcraft community. I'm joined here by Mr. Mumbo Jumbo. Hello, hello, hello. And Mr. Joe Hills. Howdy, Asuma. Judgmental Joe here. <laughs> Judgmental <laughs> Joe. Perfect name for today's events, I guess. Um, so you two are probably as clueless as I am as to what actually the UHB is. It's yeah. the Ultimate Hermit build-off. It's a group event that happened recently. It's a mix of a UHC and a building competition. And that's about as much as I as I know right now. Um, yeah, I yeah. haven't heard anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it sounds cool. It sounds amazingly cool. Um, but there are there are judges required in order to determine who is the winner. So no one knows who's won yet, and it has been trusted to us to use our uh, our opinions, I guess, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. uh, and and judge each of the builds. This, so, if ignorance leads to impartiality, then I'll be as impartial as possible. That sounds good. I, I will nod and agree and pretend I know what you just said. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was literally Sorry, just was, thinking. <laughs> it was it was too smart for my brain. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's a bit concerning considering yeah, we're we're meant to be judges. We should be understanding this sort of thing, but I'm I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, but that we, we were kinda of like the only people around. All all the smarty pants already played the game, so uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were they got all right, so if we fly up into the sky, are you guys in game mode one or zero? No, game mode zero. Okay, well, let me do a game mode one. At, oh, oh, there we go, both at the same time. We've awesome. got it sorted. Excellent. So this is like the central area of the the game. I believe like players have to come out here and scavenge for resources. Right. And then there's these these blocks at each end. They're, they're clay, they're colorful. They've got a button on them and they teleport to each of the areas. So there's five different teams in total and they've created five builds right. what we have to do is go and and judge them so the way we're going to do it is we're all going to record together openly talk about our opinions and stuff on the builds yep uh we can individually track like what we think at you know a certain point if the first thing you, you see is a 10 out of 10 and the next one's better then you know you should be able to judge or sorry change your score so then we can come back at the end and then we can, you know, tally up the scores and average them out, something like that, and then we'll find out who's potentially won. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So it should be simple. Should we start off with the blue one since this is here? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Who wants to do the honors? I'll let you do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you okay. that, it teleports all of us. <laughs> all right. Nice. Who's <laughs> now stuck underground? There I we go. I fell in a hole. I'm assuming that's a trap of some yeah, sort. Yeah. Deduct points for that one. I'd say, Joe. I'd say, you know. <laughs> it has to be done. It's a judgment trap. Are we gonna? Are we gonna like? Oh, look at these chests. They are a bit. They're slightly organised. Do we have to judge them on the, how organised their chests are? Yeah, this I mean, enchanting oh. table is not even in with the group. I mean, look, they've just. Hmm. Yeah, just left it on its lonesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I do appreciate the matching beds, though. You know, they could have chosen any colour, but they chose the same one as their clay teleporters. That's that very true. That's true. Done. Yeah. That's very it's true. Very true. So something strikes me straight away is that this this build isn't really like rounded up for approaching it. It makes sense once you're standing here. I don't know if that's something that should be a thing or not, but if we see some other builds where like the outsides have been rounded off, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that should be important. Yeah, I see. What you, this is like a Hollywood movie set where they've only bothered with with like the external walls that you can see, and then everything else is yeah. just. Yeah, even like yeah, the I think, outside I think the houses. We'll let that one go. They had to do this in survival, and it says movie set piece. And once you're standing in it, it feels pretty amazing. Oh, okay. Um, they've they've kind of got away with it there if they say movie set piece. Then oh, I see. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of those there things. There are, however, some like open areas where you can just sort of see the void beyond. <laughs> that's true. Well, yeah. that's traditional. You know, they're gonna put in some CGI Godzilla or something back yeah. there anyway. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. True. It is cool though. I like the way this burned done. down bit here. This is cool. I, I just realized it says do not leave the center road. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so you're supposed to stay here to witness it all. Right. I'm liking it. I feel like uh, I feel like there's there's a story here that isn't being told. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you know, it's it's all good. We can see some cranes. Something's been burnt down. It feels like it needed something to tie it together and make it make a little bit of sense but otherwise i'm really loving the, the build palette the way the buildings look yeah yeah no it's it's a nice build i mean you, you know this is 
yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I mean, I'm liking. I'm just. I'm liking the way that the the lights are kind of hanging down. It looks. It looks good. It's a, it's a cool build. We've got the nice cobblestone usage. It's kind of nice and ruined. And I'm I'm always a big fan of ruined, of ruined areas. So then yeah. it definitely gets bonus points for me there and the use of fire and everything. It, I like it's that cool. they collected like dead bushes and ferns as well. Yeah. Because this is all done in survival, so that's that's pretty impressive, I think. Yeah, they've actually had to think about it. That's one of those things that you haven't. It's not like you've gone into creative mode and gone, oh, I, I could place up a dead bush here. They've actually had to go out and gather those up. So that that that's got to be worth something. And the mossy co can you make mossy co you can make mossy cobblestone now. Yeah, can't you, you can use vines to make it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was gonna say. So I've done a little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a good feel from this, but I feel like I'll know more about this one when I see some of the others, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah I, I'm I with you on that one. We should reserve the numerical judgment. Like, let's not give the numbers for each at the be like when we first look at them. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that now. I might take like the occasional note, but uh, yeah, should we should we go visit the next one then? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, I'm more than happy to do that. I think I've seen enough okay. of this one. I can't think of anything else that I want to look at. Maybe get like one last look. There is a diamond horse out here, which is diamond horse. Yeah, <laughs> I think you might have escaped potentially. <laughs> so that's good. I imagine they got this in the overworld and brought it back with them. Yeah, gave yeah. Them a home, you know, residency. <laughs> so that could be really dramatic in the film, though. I could see Nicolas Cage riding in on this pack horse yeah. or whatever, <laughs> yeah, catching that's a true. child falling off a burning traffic light or something. <laughs> that's true. A lot with it. That's very true. Right, so do we go back to to mainland? Is that is that where we're going? Okay. I believe that's the button to be pressed. I'll press would that you button. Like to pick where we're going next. Right. Should we go? I would say go clockwise in case we get very confused very fast and forget where yes. exactly we've been. <laughs> okay. So that was blue first of all. All right. Oh. Oh, now this. This is pretty cool. Right. I got what I the first thing that I got to say I really like about this is that it attempts to take up the entirety of the the space that's here. Yeah, and that yeah. you can approach it from all angles. That's cool. I mean, I'm a fan of that. And to make a structure like this, in like survival mode, in such a kind of short space of time, to be able to to pull off that well-roundedness with different things going on, like the tents out here, and then you've got the pathways and all the different yeah. trees and everything the, that that can't be sniffed at that's 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 pretty cool and by the look of things it also has an indoors it does have an inside yeah i'm waiting to go inside i've just seen whose area this is i was under the impression we weren't supposed to know <laughs> well don't uh, tell us but i kind of got i kind of got a little bit of a hint at who might have been involved in this anyway right i don't know Asuma. you know this could be like uh... fan fiction maybe those signs like if it, we could find a sign that says mumbo jumbo's tent and joe hills's tent even though we didn't build it you know that's true true that's true joe so let's it not could make assumptions off the scent. <laughs> that's that's true oh that's true. wow look at the interior here yeah look they've got a slaughtering table that's so cool. So I I'm thought, really liking this one. I thought they'd done some redstone contraptions. I was getting a little bit excited, but it doesn't look like that's the case. <laughs> but it's, That's how you win over Mumbo. <laughs> yeah. You know, just build a dirt hut and fill it with redstone. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that that is that's always the way to go, yeah. <laughs> but no, this looks this is super cool in here. I like it. I don't know if this piston was meant to be extended and has stopped extending or if it's or if it's meant to be a broken part of the table. You are very curious with the redstone, aren't you? Yeah, sorry, I'll stop <laughs> talking about that. You just have to know how it works. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I could see it going either way. Yeah. Like, the part where you decapitate the person or the zombie, you gotta get closer. Your arm doesn't reach that far. That's very true. That's very true. Yeah, I hadn't really... I don't know. We'll we'll move on from the table, I think, because we could we could spend the entire time talking about that. I'm liking the fact that so these pressure plates. What do these are these pressure plates just for decoration? Do you reckon? Sorry, Most I'm gonna likely, stop talking about yeah. redstone now. <laughs> 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 every single every single redstone component I see, I wonder if it does anything. As a I, sign I over here, all the, the animals of the are up. Is what it is. Oh, they also oh. have a bunch of heads in the chest in the center here. Yeah, these give them extra points. Um, so right, yeah. I, I don't know if that's all of their chests. I'm told that sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's not. I didn't see any in the last one, but then no. I wasn't looking in chests or noticing them. Um, I like this statue I, over here. This is a cool statue. Oh yeah, that statue was awesome. The I really pepper. like a lot of this. If I could, if I could just to try and be a little bit balanced, say maybe one thing that's bad about it. I do feel like this interior, although it's fantastic, it feels a little unfinished. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. 
the way the roof is is a bit janky and blocky and then yep. this bit here is fantastic but that's kind of where it ends there isn't a lot of other furniture no it does um, feel like they ran out of time in fact in, in general especially on the outside as well kind of this back end here it feels like they went ah we need to get some <laughs> we, we need to play some things so there was like a sprinkling of bushes and maybe some bone yeah, meal and grass but that's better than nothing i think yeah for but sure yeah, you're right but then again, they're working with limited time. I mean, none of us have played this, so we don't know what it's like to... No, exactly. To, to build. But, yeah, the statue is pretty cool as well. <laughs> yeah. And that, like, should we take into account how difficult it is to get certain blocks? Because I feel like I like there was a lot of variety used in the previous one, but then they, we do have like observers here and... Yeah, there's observers for sure. The yeah. pistons, they're not the easiest things to craft. No. You've got to get a variety of materials together, yeah. Hmm. I yeah, I, say, I, I really would personally like definitely flat. factor that in. Yeah. Well, don't you like Joe? I'm sorry, Joe. No, I was gonna say. Uh, sorry, no, I talked over you. My bad. <laughs> I was saying I really like these tent flaps. Like it's such a simple detail, the way they overlap each other. Oh, that's true. But it just it feels like fabric on top of fabric. Yeah. It's smart in a really intuitive way that I appreciate. Yeah. No, these yeah, tents like are cool. And the the like the, the pathway as well is well done. Even though it's only kind of dirt and different types of dirt, um, it looks good. I like it. it I like this really place. Good. I'm I'm impressed again. It's impressed me. Me too. Should we uh, should we go check out another one then? Yeah, back that sounds to good to me. So we're going back to mm -hmm. mainland. Okay, that that sends us one at a time, I believe. That yeah. way, there we go. So right. continuing clockwise, it'll be magenta. Is that? I yeah, believe. magenta. I think I'm fairly certain. Right, ready to go, Joe. Sure am, just Ooh. taking my notes. There we Ooh. go. <laughs> I haven't made a single note yet. I'm holding it all in memory. No. Now, this is slightly similar to something we've already seen. Yeah. It's kind of like Very both similar. of them together in some ways, because it's got this central corridor. Yeah. Like, it feels like it's meant to be viewed from the inside. But you know what? They actually have a full outside to it, too. They have paths and stuff around the sides, this which is... I really appreciate. This is, a, this is quite a cool one. I think this is one of those things that they obviously intended for it to be viewed from the inside, a bit like the movie set one. So it was obvious that we're, we're meant to be viewing it from the inside, but the fact that they've actually put the effort into actually building the outside shows that yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a nice touch. And they've put a lot of effort into the outside as well. It's not like it's not like it's been slapped together in the last few minutes. There's There are some structures here and it's fully well-rounded. It covers pretty much every single corner. Um, obviously, you know, it would be nice to have like maybe a tree or two around the outside, but I can't complain too much. It looks it looks cool. And yeah, it... this side here feels a little bit more complete than the opposite side, but yeah, uh, yeah, you wouldn't have seen this side as much as you're coming from that corner, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah. What is this supposed to be in the middle though? Like, because there's there's like a face. Yeah. And the water flows down. Oh, there might be something down here to look at. Oh, that's all. Oh. This is neat. So is it's it like just a like cave a cave? That leads to the void. <laughs> <laughs> That's always good. Well, aren't all caves that spew forth from the mouths of weird ruined demon sculptures, you know, ultimately going to lead us into the void? <laughs> most most likely, I guess. Yeah, I, this lead is us into some sort of peril. <laughs> yeah, I, I personally, this kind of reminds me of something from like Indiana Jones or something. It yeah, has that definitely. sort of that sort of Tomb vibe. Raider type vibe. Yeah, well, I like that. I like that the faces continue on each of the walls. It does. Yeah, this feels super like Indiana Jones Tomb Raidery. Yeah, over here. Yeah, it's very cool. It's very very. I cool. also like these walkways on the side here. Yeah, like you know, obviously we're flying around a lot, but it feels like this is meant to be viewed from the ways that people would walk through. Yeah, it, it feels like a real space. It's very. Yes. It's walking through and behind the pillars. It gives you like a real good sense of. Of what the build is like, it's 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 really cool actually. I wouldn't mind building something like like this myself. This is a. Uh... I'm I'm now like really impressed with that they've had to come up with this sort of on the spot a bit, you know, like yeah. This is done entirely while you're recording, and because I don't think any of it is edited, it's all it's all just live recording whilst playing, and yeah. then you got to go out and gather the materials as well. It's uh, it's pretty pretty like ambitious. Yeah, oh, this... I really like it. Yeah, and this is one of those things as well is that. This would only work. It's not something that you could really fluff. In that you've, like, th this could only work if you manage to finish it. So it's a bit of a bold move to build something like this because obviously you have like all the faces. Like for it to, yeah. this definitely feels complete. This probably feels like the most, the most finished one so far. I'm not seeing any. I, I'd agree with you on that one actually. Yeah. 
you can you can sort of go look there you go Every, everything here makes sense yeah there's no I think the last one came very close to that as well though just just the interiors of the temple was maybe a little bit yeah lacking but no you this know, is this definitely... a weird thing right here have you guys seen this uh glowing block underneath what... the half slab I, I saw that I, I didn't really know what it was maybe it's meant to be like I don't know there seems to be some skulls here as well maybe it's like where you put like a bag of sand to mm -hmm. be weighed <laughs> oh yeah yeah and then it would change something yeah I know what yeah. it would do it would close up this cave underneath here so the river would sweep over us Maybe and then we'd fill, have to up, fill up and then flow over here. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Well, either way, this well, I'm, I'm good with what we've seen here. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you want to uh, to move on, that sounds good. All to right, me. Are we ready to go to the next one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So. I think we've spent about five minutes in each one so far, which is good. Yeah. We've got two more to go. Uh, black and then cyan. So we'll do the black one. Okay. No problem. Okay. It didn't bring you over here yet, Mumbo. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Wow, oh, this, that's something. This is taking a completely different approach. <laughs> I mean, I th well, I I heard something. Uh, oh, that's a lot of heads collected. This one says, now, "Look deep within, and you too can ascend." He's got a beacon as well. How's he pulled that off? <laughs> I I've got a feeling that maybe some of these supplies you can get out there in the world because right. look at how many slime blocks there are as well. I've yeah. got a feeling that perhaps. Perhaps when it comes to materials, maybe it shouldn't be a factor because if they got a beacon, I doubt they fought the wither. No. Um, Plus, there's a lot of wither skulls, so I'm guessing. I don't know. I yeah, we don't know. I I think it's quite obvious who this one would be. <laughs> yeah, no. I have a little bit of insider knowledge. Okay. Right. Um, after it happened, there was a little bit of discussion from Ren and Doc saying that theirs was basically appalling. Now, right. unless Iskow or someone else was inspired to to. Put a sword through Ren's head. I, I, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that this is Ren and Doc's plot, right? And so, with with their attempt failing, they they went for a comedic approach, which is a uh, not a bad idea at all. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, right. He certainly I see. got the giggles out of me. Yeah. <laughs> is the theme ruins? Because if this is like individual ruination, I mean that's that's about right. We we saw a ruined town. We saw two ruined temples. Now we witness a ruined man. <laughs> oh, maybe there was a maybe there was like a global theme. Oh, it was yeah. ruins. Yeah, it was ruins. The the theme was ruins. I'm looking inside Ren's brain and all I see is cobwebs. <laughs> well, I appreciate Wait, the touch. Cobwebs in there? I I appreciate the fact that they've actually <gasps> taken parts. the time to put the cobwebs in there. Yeah, There's that's parrots brilliant. in here. Is there? Parrots? Yeah, yeah. They've got, they've got three parrots. <laughs> and a lot of cobwebs. That's cool. So that's cool. how Ren's brain works. There's, there's just parrots that tell him what to say. Yeah. And then, yeah, so it says it down at the bottom here, Ren ruined, Ren ruined us, the end. <laughs> Do you reckon that's a salty dock? <laughs> <sighs> yeah. He's that like... probably is. I think, I think there's some definite merit for salvaging this with some comedy and making something that is pretty cool to look at. But... Yeah. Unfortunately, I think uh, if we were to take it seriously, this one would uh, fall behind the others a fair bit. Yeah, but potentially. It's, cool. it's very cool anyway. It's, it's pretty cool. All right, sure. Are we gonna head? Are we gonna head through into the next one now? Is it ready to go? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just one left to go now. Yep, we we're that on the last the one. Cyan one over here. And then, I mean, I'm trying to remember all of the different designs. I think I've got them all in my head. If not, Remember, we can always we pop can always back through. pop back on, yeah, and have a look. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Uh, okay. This is pretty cool. I'm liking, yeah, I'm liking that there's two things to focus on. Yeah. That's terrific. Um. And this is a beautiful struct. Like this is a really wow. good structure. It has such a nice shape to it. It has tons of different like tiers to it. I wouldn't be able to pull something like that off if you gave me like 50 hours. <laughs> I would never be able to build something like that. So this is cool. And they've got Cub Fan's yeah, head I'm on the really, inside. I'm, ooh. Oh, I think I know who it is now. I was trying to think who would have built this one, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, Cub and Scar, I could totally see building something like this. It's, yeah. uh, it's got Scar's you know, ability to build trees and structures, and it's got Cub's 
uh, like use of, of like vivid colors getting chucked in here. Like you got some nether warts mixed in. Yeah. And nether wart blocks. That's a very that's a very cub fan thing to to be bold with those with those uh, bright colors. You make you make a good point about the trees. I hadn't even noticed these trees. They're gorgeous these trees are these <laughs> that's are amazing. That's why you notice them because they look entirely gorgeous. Yeah. Can you imagine if real Minecraft trees <laughs> actually look like this? I would make the game so so crazy. So cool. It would, yeah. They they could they could certainly take uh, some lessons from what other <laughs> yeah. people have done with their game. <laughs> yeah. Then again, do you think it might be difficult though for like someone getting into it if like villages with like gorgeous buildings with amazing trees around them, it could get a little bit daunting to try and start building. True. When true. The, when the bar's been set so high. Also, you wouldn't you wouldn't even you wouldn't even want to build anything. You'd be like, I'm just gonna live in the village. The village is great. I'm happy with this. That's it. This is yeah, cool. I'm tempted to press this button, but I think it will dispense the uh, cactus and the sand down below. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it if you can avoid it. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta <laughs> say, I like how this is kind of showing two distinct types of ruin. Yeah, you know? yeah. That's what we I like. We have liked. a dry ruin, and we have a jungle ruin, a moist ruin. And uh, dividing them with the river is interesting. I mean, I don't know. There's just something about this that I enjoy. Should we deduct points because it's completely impossible for these two to be this close to one another? In in. <laughs> oh no, that that can that can happen. Oh, do you mean like uh, structures can't be? No, I just mean in real life. If you couldn't you couldn't have a you couldn't have like a jungle, lovely, luscious, bright green area, oh, yeah. and then a desert directly opposite, separated by a river. But <laughs> I think I think I think they should be able to. You know, do yeah. something like that. It's Minecraft. You can after suspend all. disbelief. You can suspend disbelief. The, the only fine. the only place I think this plot falls short is that it doesn't try and fill up the entire space. Like, yeah, this is nice to look at, but you got to sort of focus in and get close to it for it to kind of, you know, you, the the space around it kind of detracts from it in a way. Yeah, you can see they had trouble with that with the desert because they've sort of filled it up almost all the way on one side, but not on the other. Yeah, I think they they kind of. They, they, what we have to take into account here is that this is hugely ambitious to try and pull off in survival mode in in a time limit. So yes, absolutely. I mean, yeah, to to be able to have actually gone as far as they did is pretty impressive. But no, I I agree. Maybe maybe they were almost too ambitious, and that was kind of a little bit there their downfall in a way and that they're... if they were too ambitious here they definitely got the main buildings built which yeah. is a good thing it doesn't the buildings yeah. themselves don't look unfinished they look done but it's yeah, just the, the surrounding area uh, unfortunately is isn't isn't quite so good all right then we've seen all the builds yeah i think we put our heads together we take a break from recording figure out what our scores are going to be and, yep. and then we come back in all right that sounds Seems good to reasonable. me okay we've all given all of the plots a score between one and ten We've added all of the extra points they get for having player heads, and now we're going to go through the plots in reverse order. Um, this one right here has actually finished last, which is kind of surprising, with 31 points. Um, I think where they fell short is that they only got eight player heads, yeah, and yeah. some of the other teams managed to get quite a few more. Um, so me and Mumbo both gave this one an eight. I think this is sort of, uh, you know, a pretty well-rounded plot. The only place I think they fell short on was the interior. For me, if the interior had been more decorated, this would have been a nine. Uh, Mumbo. Yeah, I'm kind of, I kind of feel the same way. It just, it was just a tiny bit. It was just missing like the tiniest little finishing touches, and it's obviously because they ran out of time. But um, no, it was a really good build though. I, I, I liked it a lot. Yeah, and uh, Joe, you gave this one a seven. I did. You know, I love it. It's just. I've, I've judged a lot of build competitions, and most of them involve small children. This is ludicrously better than what most small children would build. However, <laughs> other hermits on the server had some builds that I felt were a little bit better. Like, this is way better than what I could make, but unfortunately, I wasn't competing. They were competing against a lot of talented hermits. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's that. fair and reasonable. Um, if we head back to the mainland, we'll go to joint fourth. We've got two two ones here uh blue and black are joint fourth so blue is the very first one that we looked at okay well actually they'd be joint third at that point oh yeah yeah of course they would right yeah. joint third yeah i'm looking at it in reverse but yeah you're right <laughs> um so me and mumbo both gave this one a seven yeah um my reasoning would be that i think when you stand here this one is really good it really sort of sucks you in but it loses points with 
uh, just how bare it is from the outside. Like it really kind of dispels the atmosphere for me. Yeah, for sure. Like they, it just, and I, I get that they've tr almost, I feel like they've almost tried to get away with it by calling it a movie set piece. It's like it's that like was, a, that was a good idea, I think. Yeah, you know? no, it's it's really smart, but it's it's not fooling me. Uh, I I think that there, there's a chance that. Yeah, it just it was a bit of a big ambitious project, and although it looks really cool and the details are nice, it just doesn't quite have the scale that some of the other builds have had. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, Mumbo, uh, sorry, Joe, you gave this one a six. You know, I love it architecturally, but if you're gonna make something a movie set, it has to have a story to it. You know, I come in here and I'm trying to figure out what is the plot, what is the action, what is the camera gonna show, how do actors move through this space, and I just don't see it communicated clearly this is a great set for something but it's not something that my imagination can latch on to without additional cues I, I agree with that as well that's... that's one of the things that crossed my mind was like this is cool but like what is it and where is it yeah um so that that's 32 points in total if we head back okay um the next one is 32 points as well which is Renz. now i expected this one to be dead last <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mumbo, you and me have a habit of voting the same score. Yep. I gave this one a five. You gave it a five. I'll let you explain um, this time first. I mean, you know, like it definitely had its merit. I wasn't obviously five seemed like the, the right score for it just because it it gave us a reaction as we came through, and that's what that's what this game's all about. You know, sometimes you don't have to build the most serious things. This this made us feel something um, when we first saw it. It may not have been awe and amazement, and you know. It, taking a look at all the beautiful details in it but it, it definitely is an impressive build and it, it's quite cool and it's, it's a fun one to look at so i think that's that's personally yeah. why i chose the five how about you for me for me the five it was just it was a save you know it was a really good save but it was still a save from yeah. a calamity of some sort i mean <laughs> that's based on what they've said they called it a calamity so uh joe you gave this one an eight it expresses ruination in many ways. First, <laughs> we have multiple of the traditional humors. We have blood, and we also have blood like vile is... or something here, you know. In addition, <laughs> we have both the ruination of a man, but if you come over here, there's a nice little sign here that says uh, not to be viewed from here. They have not only ruined a man, but they have ruined an entire space. <laughs> One fourth of this area is not ignored, it's ruined. Like, <laughs> Other people just left some gaps. These guys wrecked that. And I think <laughs> that this exploration of the theme should be rewarded. So that was why I gave it an 8. Yeah, you are the comedian of the group, so it makes sense that you would see much more of the comedic value here. Also, how is blood like a, a traditional comedy? <laughs> no, it's not a, no, it's not a comedy, it's a humor. A humor, oh, that's what yeah. Four humors. Blood, bile, ichor, and what's the other one? Um, I remember it's, it's now. Greek medicine. Like I'm not Galen, so I don't know them by oh, heart. Ah, uh, so I've forgotten. I've forgotten it. Yeah, you've got a good point there. That's that's funny. Yeah, I hadn't even thought Fair of enough. that. Obviously, <laughs> only you, only your mind would go there. So, yeah. <laughs> um. So they got 14 skulls, which made a huge difference to the score as well. They got the most out of everyone, so it's tight margins, and that kind of pulled them up to, uh, to the black team. Yeah. No, sorry, the blue team. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they got 32 points as well, tied third, as, as Joe said. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to Cyan, which was over this side. Okay, so this is second place, which I guess reveals the winner. It does, yeah, it does reveal the winner. If you can um, remember the colours. I can't remember the colours, but I can remember the build. Magenta is the winner, but we know the build, yes. Yeah. So yeah. I gave this one an 8. I think I kind of already stated like where it fell short for me, just that it didn't try to spread out across the plot a bit more. Um, yeah. The builds are fantastic, but you, you kind of have to focus in on the square around them. They don't take up much more space than where they are. Uh, Mumbo, you gave this one a 9. Yeah, I just those trees. Every like the the builds are stunning, and I just feel like you know they were super ambitious with it. It was it was a, a big move to go for for something like this. Um, and although it's a shame, I would have given it a ten if they had filled the entire area. Um, but I I didn't feel like detracting too much from them because I just feel like these projects are are so ambitious that that yeah, there, there's no way they would have been able to full, fill the full plot. So these are two super cool builds. And uh, Joe, you gave this one a nine as well. 
you know, I, it has all of the things I lacked about the last one we looked at. It's got this sense of duality. We've got decay and desiccation on the one side, and then we've got creeping new life on the other with the jungle. And that sort of duality, I think, really speaks to us about the varied nature of ruin. We're not all ruined the same way. We're all ruined in different mm -hmm. ways. And this has that message, but it's also really well constructed. So that was why it was a nine for me. <laughs> I, li I like the deep insights there. I was going to say, it was much. I was just, we we're just talking about, oh, they haven't placed these blocks properly, and blah 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 blah. blah. And then Joe Hills comes in with far, yeah. far more <laughs> deeper meaning into it, which is very cool. Well, that's that's why we have you know diversity in our panel here. Yeah, it's yeah. a strength. Um, <laughs> so they got ten heads, which gives them a total of thirty-six points. If we go over to the next one. Uh, which, by the way, they got 11 heads and they won with one more point. So Magenta has won with 37. Yep. Um, I, I I voted a 9 for this one. This would have been my closest to a 10. The thing that does it for me with this plot, like, is just, like, how you feel like you know what it is. Like, I think that's what the blue plot struggled with a little bit. It was a movie set, but you weren't quite sure what the movie was. Here, yeah. it's, it's Indiana Jones, it's Tomb Raider... There's the face over there. The pumpkin kind of makes it feel like it might be alive. You've got faces in the wall. There's just a lot of stuff here that really, like, gives you a sense of what this is beyond yeah. what you can see, you know, like what you can interpret. And I really like that. Yeah, uh, Mumbo, you gave it gave it a nine as well. Yeah, I just I really like the sense of depth that you get, especially if you're walking along these areas here and you're kind of passing behind the pillars. You just get like a really nice feeling of tran. You're, you're kind of moving through uh, a 3D space. There's lots of layers to it. There's lots going on. I like it. I yeah, this is by far this was on on par with the previous one for me. But I'm 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 really happy that it won. It's it's a really cool build. And Joe, you gave it an eight. I did give it an eight. I love it from a technical standpoint. Everything you guys said about that was positive, I completely agree with. It didn't make me question anything, which is something that you gave it points for. You're like, I understand what this is, but I like my art to challenge me, or you know, and I just this is just good. It it's great, and that's that's great for it. But it wasn't worth the nine to me because it didn't really make me question anything. Or struggle in any way. There was a lack of mystery. Mm -hmm. It was all solved for you. Yeah, exactly. And but you couldn't have laid it out more beautifully. And I'm glad they won. I think it's a, a great build. But that was just the reasoning behind my particular scoring. And so with 11 heads, they got a total of 37. And also, very nearly, maybe could have perhaps lost because we only saw two heads here, and we had to go through the chests and fish them all out, <laughs> and then put them into an individual chest. So. I mean, that's a thing, but uh, we, <laughs> we tried to check every nook and cranny to make sure we'd discovered every head, and we yeah. did that. And so I think we have judged fairly, and I guess we conclude it with Magenta Team are the winners. Congratulations, Guy. You, you did a brilliant job. I now need to find out who actually built this, because I'm not 100% yes. certain, and give them an actual congratulations. But yeah, this is, this is brilliant work. Indeed. Uh, that's a great note to end on, I think. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, if Well, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but if you don't know what the UHB is, there's a whole series of people putting these builds together. Yep. Um, probably not so relevant now, but that stuff <laughs> will be found in the description box. Yeah, bad time to mention it. Uh, Joe? <laughs> you know, I agree Joe? with you, Asuma. It's a great time to pause this video and go watch all of those before you hear us say goodbye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Until next time, this is Joe uh, Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. See you later. Bye.